Good morning, everyone. Um, so today I woke up, did some work, and now it's around 11.30 and I'm gonna cook myself some breakfast slash lunch. Oh, I also defrosted some pork shoulder because I'm going to marinate and barbecue sauce. So after practice, um, I will be eating some pork chops grilled on the barbecue. Anyways, so I am making my usual Vietnamese coffee, but with a twist on it, I'm putting um, almond milk in it. So it's not just condensed milk and then Vietnamese coffee. And the reason why I'm doing that, it's not the authentic way. Um, it's just when I go to Island Brew, this coffee shop in Hawaii Kai, they have a Thai iced tea, which is basically what I just made. And I'm gonna try it out. And in the meantime, I also am going to make mabo tofu. I've never had it before, but I hear very good reviews on it. And I have a lot of errands to do. Um, I gotta edit some YouTube videos, fold some laundry. Um, I need to clean up all the puzzle pieces. I, it's just so disorganized, I'll show it to you guys. Like we haven't used this table since this puzzle has been on it because it takes up so much space. So I'm gonna start putting them into Ziploc bags because the reason that they're like this is because I set them up in a specific way. But now we don't even eat on this table anymore, which is stupid. So yeah, I gotta do that. And then I gotta fold some laundry. I need to um, use this and use my massage gun because I am very sore. And I can't be sore because we have something fun coming up on Sunday for paddling. So I need to rest and get well. Paddling practice yesterday was pretty um, like hard. Like I'm very sore, like the most sore I've ever been, honestly, with paddling. Um, basically, my coach made me stroker. So it's a person that sits in the front seat one and you set the pace for the paddling outrigger canoes. And I've never done that before. It was my first time and it was, I like it because I don't have to watch someone. Like they just have to follow you to be on time. <laughs> but um, I think I did really well yesterday and I'm doing, I'm improving a lot. So that makes me feel a lot better. So I'm currently watching Bon Appetit, but I'm going to make, um, I'm just gonna slice them up with this tiny little red potato and I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. I'm trying to slice them very thinly. I'm actually gonna put it in here first and drizzle some olive oil on it. Change your plans. All right. Some oil. The tablespoon. Salt, pepper. Oh crap, I think I might have used too much. Um, yeah. and mix it up with my hands. them on the air fryer with no foil i used to use foil so it doesn't get all um everywhere in the pan after you're less cleaning but then i realized that i think it's more crispy when you don't use a um tofu i mean not tofu foil all right so i'm gonna put it in this little mini oven thing it um has an air fryer spot um, air fry. I think I'm gonna go for 400 degrees and 10 minutes. Okay, so I've never made mabo tofu, tofu before. Oop. But apparently, you are supposed to use 
cool. I've never even had it before. Um, apparently we're supposed to use ground pork or beef, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use some sausage. Also gonna use some of this, green onions. I need to use a lot of this because I feel like I they're about to go bad if I don't use them. So I'm gonna start off with heating up my heat up the pan with some oil. Gonna cut off these ends. So I don't really like fresh green onions on top of things. Like I'll, I'll eat it, cause I know other people like it, but I don't love it. I like frying them. I don't know, I just don't really like raw onion taste. So I'm just gonna cut these up and then fry them in the oil and then stick the sausage on it. hot enough to put the onions in yet. All right, it's getting hot, so I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna try that out. Get the meat out of the casing. Wow, I've never done this before. I've only seen people do this in videos and stuff. I wonder what the casing is made out of. Cause this stuff is strong. I'm gonna open up the Mabo tofu pack. Mm. Open it up, put all of the sauce in it. It's not that much sauce, so I'm not going to use all the tofu. I'm just going to try to do for half of the tofu that I have currently. Okay. Be done now. Okay. So now I was cooking in there. Oop, it's getting all over me. I'm gonna start chopping up half of these and dicing them. Um, I just got firm tofu. I'm not sure if that's the right type, but I um squeeze out all the water, put 
um, something really heavy on it for over 12 hours. I do that because I like it when it's crispy, but it's because I usually air fry it. But that's not what I'm doing this time, so. Okay. So I want the tofu to kind of cook. So I'm just gonna leave this on low simmering for a while. So I'm trying to get the sauce all over it. This is what it currently looks like. Gonna let it chill for a bit and let's check on the potatoes. Ooh, they're crispy. Crispier than I expected. Let's take them out. This is what it looks like and let's try it. Okay, try the potatoes first. They're not crispy like they're fried. It's really weird because it looks crispy. But the texture is like you baked it, you know? Mm. This isn't potatoes. Next time I put my salt on it. But I always think that. Okay. I'm gonna try the mapo tofu with the sausage. Hmm. Oh wow. It's really salty. <clears throat> hmm. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. It tastes like very Chinese, like five spice flavor, but it's, the packet is a little too salty. I think I can make this without all of the saltiness to it. Hmm. I think the flavors are good. It's just really heavy on the salt. I actually couldn't eat anymore, so I just stopped. Mm -hmm. It was way too salty. Hey guys, so I finished up all my tasks today, work, and then editing videos, and just a lot of um, like cleaning, I get clean the bathrooms and toilets and kitchen, all this freaking cleaning I feel like. And now I'm laying here, I think I have another hour and a half or an hour before I leave to go to paddling practice, and I am using massage gun on my body. Oh, I also did some stretching too, and a little bit of some yoga stretches. So, yeah, I woke up super sore today, so I need to use my sock gun. I got hungry again. I need to eat some food before I go to practice since I probably won't be home till 8 to eat again. Um, so I just air fried some tofu. I think I might do it for a little bit longer. But I also air fried a burrito. So I'm going to take this out and eat this now. But keep air frying that for another I don't know, maybe five minutes. A breakfast burrito with some Tabasco. I um, am about to eat my air fried tofu. 350 degrees in the air fryer for 15 minutes. With some salt.
Hey, it's Amara. With some YouTube in the back. I just got home from practice and Keith um, made us dinner, except for the salad. I made the salad. <laughs> you made half the salad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a um, lettuce with some bell peppers and tomatoes, blue cheese, balsamic vinaigrette. And then he barbecued some pork chops that we thought were American barbecue, but the sauce was Hawaiian barbecue. And mm -hmm. it's it basically tastes like teriyaki, doesn't it? I haven't tried it yet, but what does oh, it taste yeah. like to you? Okay, have the first bite. We're going to see your reaction. Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's not dry. It's nice and nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Good flavor, but I wish we had other barbecue sauce. Yeah. Or other marinade, rather. Does it taste exactly the same as, like, the Yoshida one? No. Which it's one different. tastes better? I think I always like Yoshida on chicken. But on this, I think this is better. Okay. On pork. Okay. I'm watching the Alyssa Lamb documentary. I'm going to go to sleep after. Bye, everyone.